everybody welcome back to story time with og uh, today's book is called race to kindness because well you know as well as i do we need more kindness in the world there's a lot of hate and bad thoughts in the world and we just need more kindness to towards one another and this book is all about that I went ahead and took a look at it before I wanted to read it on here to you and I think this is just a great book so how about me and you read it together okay let's read race to kindness 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 <laughs> by Orion Jean and illustrated by Darshika Varma I think you're really going to like this book. You are invited to join the race to kindness. You put your name and date and welcome to the race. But you probably shouldn't write in the book because like this is a library book. Now, if you own this book, which I highly recommend you buy it, uh, I'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere on Amazon or bookstores. Uh, you could probably write your name and date in your own book, but not the library book. No. All right, here we go. Come join our great race where kindness begins, where everyone's welcome and everyone wins. So lace up your sneakers, get ready to run. This race to kindness will be so much fun. They look like they're ready to go. <laughs> The rules are quite simple and made just for you. The letters Be Kind will show you what to do. Mm. K reminds you to keep your eyes open for deeds to be done or kind words to be spoken. Smile and say hi as you open the door or help someone pick up their toys off the floor. Yeah, sometimes people need help taking their toys off the floor. Welcome a family that's new to your town or brighten the day of a friend feeling down. If someone is hungry, Share something to eat. And always speak kindly to those you might meet. I appreciate you. I really do. Or you matter to me. Or words you can say to the people you see. Oh, having a picnic. <laughs> I. Including others is part of the plan, so make them feel welcome whenever you can. Befriend a shy child and ask them to play. Try calling a loved one who lives far away. They'll appreciate it. Mm -hmm. When holidays come, is there room at your table? Invite folks who might need a meal, if you're able. Including someone is a great thing to do. Don't forget how it feels when that someone is you. And nothing is too small to make a big mark. Those small acts of kindness will still light a spark. So go tell a teacher you think they are great. Or help a good friend who has chores on their plate. That neighbor you haven't seen for a while could probably use some kind words and a smile. Clean out your closet and donate some things 
see the pure joy that your kindness can bring. Kindness come, uh, kindnesses come in all shapes and all sizes. Their ripple effect will bring great surprises. That means if you do something kind for someone, then that person will probably do something kind for someone else. That's called paying it forward. D, do something about it. There's no time to waste. The world needs your kindness. That's why it's a race. If someone is struggling or left far behind, do something, say something. It's time to be kind. Just take an action, one step, big or small. One small step is better than nothing at all. Very true, very true. Find things that matter and set your sights high. You can make a difference. Just give it a try. Whatever you do, let your kindness shine through, or shine bright, <laughs> and you will find small ways to shine your big light. When you practice kindness, you'll feel the love grow. So let's start the race. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, that was a very cool book. This is what Orion Jean looks like. He was just a little boy when he wrote this book. Oh, can you imagine little boys and girls, if they think that way now, what happens when they grow up to be an adult and they still think that way? Ah, what a wonderful world this would definitely be. Hmm. Well, thank you for coming to Storytime with Dog and reading this wonderful book with me. I hope I hope you read it with me. I like it because it rhymed. I like books that rhyme. And I highly recommend, if there's any adults watching, that you get this for your child. Uh, the more they read it, I think, the more they'll understand that kindness is very important. And it's something to take with you as you become an adult. Because sometimes adults lose their kindness. It's easy to do. That's why you got to keep reminding yourself to be kind whenever possible. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And I'll see you next time with the next story on Storytime with Dog. Bye-bye.